Hi guys, Mr. Ruff Waffles here. One week ago, I think it was a week, I unboxed my Xbox Series X, and now, what's turned up in the mail? This bad boy! I am so excited. You're also getting a sneak peek right now at the rest of my setup that has moved around a bunch. I'm not going to show you the full thing just yet, but stay tuned, that'll be on the way shortly. However, today's main event is this beauty that I've been waiting for for so long, and it's here. And it's got a shiny thing on the front, and I don't know if you can see it being shiny. Oh, I shouldn't be rattling this box, there's... There's <laughs> something moving in there. Let's get it open. It's actually opened itself for me, so very courteous of you, Sony. Doing my, doing my job for me. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Open. Sony, you didn't see that. <laughs> right, my mic quality should be better now. I've just realized that it wasn't picking up properly. Sorry, I probably pressed something on my keyboard, actually. That's a liability. Let's tip this over. Ooh. And, oh God, is this, oh, it's a stack. Oh, I'm so bad at the, oh, why am I, why do they give me one of the, okay, we're just, we're just bouncing it. <laughs> if my Xbox Series X unboxing gave you anxiety because I was like throwing it around, I'm sure this is worse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> it's large and in charge, and I'm excited to see how it looks when it's got the sheath off, so let's do that. Ooh, um. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, it's so large. My goodness. <laughs> Look at the girth of this lad. What the hell? It's so chunky. That is incredible. Let's get a nice close up for you guys. What do you think of this absolute beauty? I must say it is very clean. Yes, it does look like a router. Yes, the Series X looks like a fridge. Um, but it's nice. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm, I'm, I, I like it. It's so tall. So if you sort of compare, that probably is quite a, quite a good size indication for just how chunky this thing is. Uh, let's get the Xbox Series X out from behind my desk. Do you want to just take a peek at the cable management? Just take a peek. Go on, take a peek. No, 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 okay. <laughs> it's bad, I know, I know. So, internet, this is your lord and savior, the PS5. This is an Xbox Series X. And you can see there is a lot of size difference between these two things. This one is definitely a bit thicker, but Give me a second, because I don't want to drop either of them. <laughs> One is certainly larger than the other, um, which is actually in person even more kind of dramatic than I think it probably even looks on camera. The PS5 is just so long. And funnily enough, I'm pretty sure I saw an article the other day saying that it was actually originally gonna be bigger and they shrunk it. How that's happened, I don't know, but yeah, massive size comparison. I'm gonna put these down now because I don't wanna drop them. So in a slightly less precarious terrain, this is what it will look like maybe in your setup. But this is how it looks next to the Series X. Of the two, my personal favorite is probably the Series X just because of the fact that I'm gonna be able to stack stuff on this if I need to, so for instance, if I need to put my controller on top of it or something, it's gonna be a little bit more of a table for me. Whereas this is just like, I don't know, if I'm whacking the Series X controller on there, it's, <laughs> it's maybe a recipe for disaster. So um, it's an interesting design. I think for some people, this thing is gonna look beautiful. Like it's gonna fit into their setup fantastically. If you've got it in like a home entertainment system and it fits, like if it's actually fitting in what you've got right now, I imagine it will look great. It just is so large. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm not just hating here on the fact that it's a big boy, um, but it is big. <laughs> Let's check out the controller now because I have heard that compared to the Xbox Series X controller, the PS5 DualShock controller, the DualShock 5 is like leaps and bounds ahead. I've heard such good things about it. So I wanna open it up and see what it looks like. One thing actually that might be a good idea is to compare this beauty to a PS4, because obviously compared to this, I mean, you're gonna probably get one or the other, certainly at launch, but a lot of people are already gonna have PS4s, and so maybe that's a better size comparison. So there's a Hoppage HD PVR, the original gaming uh, capture card that I used back in the day to start my YouTube channel. There's a Nintendo Switch dock. I've got a case full of all sorts of weird stuff in here, but this is a slightly dusty 
PT installed, PS5, PS4, sorry, PS4. So if we put this boy on the desk and line those up, you get a little bit more of a feel for the difference, right? You've got your PS5. I like the fact that it's white. I think that if this was black, it would look a lot less nice. I really, really like the fact that they've got the kind of like reverse Oreo going on here. I think that that's a good style that they've gone for. Width-wise, about the same, right? I mean, even if we sort of sandwich them on top of each other here, similar profile, right? It's just obviously, it's uh, a lot longer. So the business end of the conversation, not really, but the controller. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Here it is, in all its glory and my sweaty fingerprints. I'm sorry, I just washed my hands. Um, this feels really good. So you can probably actually see just from my freshly washed hands, it's kind of leaving these like little prints on it, which are not a bad thing at all. It's just that it goes to show what kind of surface that is. It's very smooth. If I was to compare it to a PS4 controller, this is a very, very similar smoothness, I would say. Um, it's a bit smoother, I think, on the PS4. Um, but on the PS5, yeah, you've got this like really interesting, very smooth, almost, almost glassy texture to it. It's not cold by any means or anything like that, but it's just very smooth and kind of easy to, I don't know, kind of like smudge on. Something that I have noticed is that the triggers on this feel really interesting. That feels totally different to a trigger that I would have experienced in the past. It's like, I don't really know how to describe it on this. I mean, just, just listen and you might be able to hear this if we, uh, if we come over to the mic. Standard PS4 controller clack, right? It's totally, it's weird. It's like a completely different pressure curve along the length of the arc, I guess, where the trigger actually goes down. And the bumpers as well feel like just bigger and softer almost as well, which is really, I think, a good thing. It feels really nice in the hand. What I've heard is that when you plug this bad boy in and you start playing games, it completely transforms the feeling of a controller because of the haptics inside. And I'm not going to be showing you guys that in this video, but in future content, I will be exploring that, talking about it and letting you know basically whether or not it would be a worthwhile investment to pick one of these up because of the cool sort of stuff that they are doing with the controller this year. I think the PS5 comes installed, pre-installed with Astro's Playroom, which actually showcases a lot of these features. So if you do pick up a PS5, that would be a great place to start off your PS5 journey and get to grips, no pun intended, with all the new stuff that the controller has to offer. So initial verdict on this is that feels really good. Oh, the buttons feel great as well. I hadn't even pressed anything on the D-pad yet, but just really, really liking what they've done here with the controller, and I haven't even plugged the dang thing in. The last things we need to get to, because apparently people really love this stuff, is the power cable. Obviously, it doesn't have the massive power bricks of the past. This one is just a cable, so. <laughs> oh, and the last things we've got here are an HDMI cable, which actually looks like one of the old like Xbox HDMIs. They used to do this exact sort of kind of design. And that's the stand, which you can obviously use to stand it up if you like. So that brings me to the end of my PS5 unboxing. Thank you so much to PlayStation UK for sending this over. I can't wait to show you guys some of the games that this thing can run, but I just wanted to show you the hardware for now. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here and um, I'll be seeing you guys uh, in the next one. Bye for now. I'm going to rock my baby to sleep.